about the plot of the book. I'll be put a summary of the book. I'll be talking about the cast, the meaning, plus the theme. And hi guys, I'm Drew Nas. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another book review. So with the recent announcement on the Royal Opera House website, where they talk about premiering a uh, live stream plays followed by plays which you can stream on different website specifically youtube i have decided to put on my quest to see some of those play and i see phantom of the opera and metamorphosis and what struck me the most about two of these plays they kind of adapt the story half and half but they put more detail and put more emphasis on different character and different details that should be highlighted in the book so let's now take a deeper look at Metamorphosis, the book written by Franz Kafka. Franz Kafka, I will not be talking about him too much though. I will not be talking about him at all because I will be linking his autobiography in the description below and a video talking about his life and his fundamental element in his life which influenced and contribute to many of his work. So now, Metamorphosis, let's jump straight in. So, Metamorphosis opened up with this line. So Gregor Samsa wakes up one morning to find himself transformed into a monstrous insect. At first he was kind of surprised like any human being would feel like and he decided to glance around his room searching for some disoriented segment. However everything seemed to turn out alright. And then he decided to reflect on his own job as a, as a salesman and a class merchant he have to travel many places and don't have the time to make any friends and exhaust some of his energy which in turn make him despise his job and if he can quit tomorrow he would if he hadn't been the breadwinner of his family and the one who took care of his family financially so while deaf in his own thought he was surprisingly a uh, Interrupted by, interrupted by a member of his family's voices, calling him, knock on his door to ask him to wake up and head to work. As he struggled in vain to rock his body forward and backward to wake up and get out of bed, he suddenly noticed some noise and he realized the person who is visiting the household today is none other than his office manager, the chief clerk himself. So, once the chief clerk himself had arrived, Gregor learned immediately his purpose for this arrival. Was, he was to require about the reason for Gregor absent from his daily schedules. And the manager starts to asking your parents about the situation, why Gregor has not out of his room yet, and where is he, and other stuff. So, his mother, Gregor's mother, starts to plead with the of his clock and telling him what a good worker Gregor is while his sister in the other hand was crying in the other room which just surprises me why do you cry why are you crying and by the way Gregor's sister is named Reti so as the situation start to get hit more the clock start to get very annoyed he knock and pound on Gregor's door demand a reason why he hadn't show up at his office in time and demand an answer immediately. Then he started to talk very badly about Gregor, hinting about how Gregor's behavior was bad this term and how the show and his work wasn't that satisfactory. And they bring up the alleged rumors that Gregor has been stealing money from the firm. Gregor at this time has finally struggles and managed to rock himself violently to the floor and tumble himself on his legs to stand up and open the door. So, other situation get even worse. His manager, the chief clerk, decided to exchange a few words with his parents about the situation while his sister, Gretty, rushed away to fetch the doctor and the locksmith to open, uh, to open down the door. So, as Rago finally successfully opened the door, he was greeted with the horrific looks on everybody's face. The chief clerk was so afraid he ran away 
and disappear. His mother passed out while Gregor's father acted in a very weird manner. He looked very dis distressed and pushed Gregor's back in his room, shut locking the doors and injured Gregor's leg badly. So from then on, the family was stripped of their very, very comfortable life and they have to figure out another way around it. And by the way, Gregor's sister Gretje also helped out take up the task of bringing food to Gregor, which she did so in order to make herself sound useful for the family. So the first scene opened with Gretje bringing a tray of different kind of food, which include what Gregor used to like and some rotten food. However, it's really striking to me that Gregor show particular appetite for the rotten and moldy food rather than his favorite milk and his favorite bread. And after finishing his meals, Virgo set up his pastime pleasure by crawling on the ceiling and crawling on the floor and hiding in places that box like under the sofa, under the bed, under the table, etc. etc. So with that in mind, Gretje, Virgo's sister and his mother decided to help him out a little bit by putting him more space, removing a bit of furniture from his room that he can crawl even more. However, this idea came to Gregor's mind very distressing, and Gregor don't like it. He hated it a lot, really. And as the furniture moved one by one out of his room to Gregor's dismay, he started to clung desperately to the only thing that he loved the most in the room. A portrait cut out from the newspaper of a lady in a fur coat. This portrait though have a very deep meaning, however it is not particularly anything related to love, anything feelings of admirer, no it's not that way. But Gregor admired that scene, so he clung violently to the portrait to try to stop them from taking it away from him. And at the sight of her son finally showing from her face, Gregor's mother passed out again and his sister decided to rush beside her mother to assist her. However, Gregor wanted to help too, so his urges pushed him to follow them and Gretier to hush him away very very coldly. However, dropped a medicine bottle into Gregor's body and injured him very badly once again. And by the time his father comes home, in the midst of its anger, Mr. Samsa throws an apple so hard at his sons that it injured Gregor severely. So after suffering the severe wounds on his back for a couple of weeks, he suddenly realized that he's being more neglected by the days that passes by. His room has also suddenly turned into a storage room by, by no means apparently, and the family inside take up three tenants in order to sustain their income. And the three tenants might seem uninteresting and unadoxically kind of self-proclaimed. So one night, the maid who cleaned Gregor's room decided to leave the door ajar to alleviate some of Gregor's solitution. And Gretje, Gregor's sister, happens to play the violin. As the animal instinct kick in and a human attraction to beautiful things, Gregor starts to follow the music. The music of the violin was good, it was very tuned in, and Gregor started to crawl outside. However, upon being spotted by one of the tenants, the tenant was so surprised. He was kind of afraid and like far ghasted that like, there's such a huge box moving, and he started to complain about the apartment unclean and unhygienic and other very bad comments. So after that, the three people decided to cancel their tenancy at the residence and move away, which led the family to be kind of angry and not so happy. Because the tenant also decided they don't not pay the rent because they see a creature. And yeah, they just stay at the home for a couple of days, eating the people's food and sleeping in their beds. Wow. 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 So, during a discussion between the mothers and Gregor's sister and his father, Gretje, who has once used to be Gregor's best friend and dream very well at the first beginning of the book, start to broke down in anger and in tiredness. She said that that is not her brother pointing to Gregor, that is not their family members anymore, that's just a big, big Beatles, and we should get rid of it. We should get rid of that box. 
is is not my that's not my brother. And upon realizing that, we go slowly crawl back into his room, sad and very very much heartbroken, which led to his die, which led to his death, the breaks of dawn next day. So the book ends with a high note that the family optimistically decide to go on vacation after their sons pass away, and they decide to find where go sister Gretty an husband because they realize she is look much more beautiful and now transform completely into womanhood. So now let's talk about the theme of the book for a second. As I mentioned before, the book have many meanings and many interpretation that you can. Not go wrong because people have different ideas and opinion of the book. So now let's jump into the meaning of the book. So the first thing I pick up here on this book is the absurdity of life. The author put a situation on a table that this guy was transformed from a human into a box, and the book deals with it. It don't offers any explanation in any ways. It doesn't say why. It never said how it happens. It just wake up and turn into a beetles. Moreover, I should regard this metamorphosis to be not a punishment to Gregor because he has been a good person, he has been a kind brother and a dutiful son. Take up a hard job traveling elsewhere and live in isolation for most of his adult life and his youth life. However, this transformation is a way to the author to test people of study in life, to test how they're gonna react to that situation, how they're gonna say, and the reaction are quite funny, guys. And now let's jump to the people in the book's metamorphosis. And the one that I pick up most strikingly and significantly is Great Girl Sister Gretty. Gretty at the beginning of the book was portrayed as this kind of like bratty little sister who is best friend with her brother. And she trained kindly and they were planned this very lively and beautiful future that she could go to school to learn violin, he will take care of her, everything is happy. However, at the moment of Morpheus, though, she don't even say that that is her brother. She is unable to see him inside and she sees him in sight, she's gonna leave the door and just go and don't want to see him for the rest of the day. She did take care of him though in the book and she gave him some food, she take care of him, she cleaned his room and she suggests the mother give him some spray. However, as life has its absurdity, as time moves forward, Great Tay's feelings for her brother start to get sour. She no longer treats him like a human being and his treatment and his treatment is beyond beyond broken. His call this and that, he's beaten and he's injured by Greta, by Mr. Samsas, by Greta, and he is also called out numerous times to not be recognized as a human anymore, just for the metamorphosis. Secondly, I want to talk more about the disconnection of the body and mind of Rego Samsas. So at the beginning of the book, we all learn that he turned to a box. However, most of his normal, normal schedule still say intact. He still wants to go to work. He was still worried that the phone will take away his house and the phone is gonna still get his family. However, he don't even regard the situation that he will be fired from work and how the public will react. He still have urges to do his biddings, to want to help his family in hard situation, and that's a, all is what I so appreciate him. He's a really responsible person and a good person. However, the treatment of the people around him is horrible. So now let's talk about the cast. The book have cut a very tiny set of cast: Mr. Samsa, Mrs. Samsa, Greg T. Samsa, Gregor's young sister, and Gregor. The chief clock, which is a joke by the way, the cleaning maids, etc. Which mostly a lot of people who just play a role in depicting the scene Gregor's treatment. So, like I said before, I will not say more about Gretchen Samsa's Gregor's sister because she's an interesting character that I already mentioned before. I will talk about Mr. Samsa, Mrs. Samsa, Gregor Samsa's, and the chief clock together with the maids. So now, let's jump straight in. Gregor is a good natured person, lives in isolation, and after metamorphosis is even more filled in solitude. He was treated as if he's no longer a human being, and the way he was 
he was injured by his family and he was called out to be no longer human and deny his own identity which is absolutely horrible Mrs. Samsa is a weak kind of woman, like easily shocked, easily cry, but she does have a feelings for young son. She cares for him and when the chief cock attacks him and say harsh things about him in front of his family, she pleaded with him and tried to reasoning with him. Mr. Samsa, on the other hand, is the opposite of his wife. After the bank of his business, we become a harsh jerk. He treats son sons as if, as if he's just some worker he hired for cheap labor and after metamorphosis he treatment of his own son turned into garbage the chief clock is a different kind of jerk but he's still a jerk he basically the kind who talk behind people backs gossip bad things about them and would use that against many people not that he don't like them but just for his own game of suppressing them and making them fear and shame of themselves the cleaning maid though is the opposite of him. She's not a drug with, with a lifelong experience that made her um, immune to the frightened Grego Samsa. She's not afraid of his sight, he's, she's not afraid of how he crawls around, and she actually interacts with him on a number of times. She tries to chase away his isolation by leaving the door ajar. So Grego will have a better time to listen to the family conversation and to feel less lonely in the world. So now, let's talk about why I like this book so much. At first, my observation of the book was like, okay, okay, this book is like a, a very, very mystery and thriller thing. A guy mystery, mysteriously turned into a box and throwing pies, he's crawl around and that's scary because he's a giant human-sized box. However, as I go more and more into reading articles of the book, it seems like it's more than that. It's absurdly is how the author put uh, problems on a table and to see how people would react and by far the people react in the book is cruel and sour and which led us to the conclusion that all of us human beings are lonely in this world and sometimes we, you can have somebody you trusted the most betraying you or treating you so sourly and harshly that you barely even notice that they are your family at all and sometimes you should probably fend for yourself and try to seek redemption from the people who just don't give anything about you. It's not worth it. As Virgo in the book still urges to help his family in some way, he by some means inflict pains and injury on himself. As he tries to rush to uh, help great assist his mother, he is injured with a bottle of medicine which burns on his part of the body. And as he tried to reasoning with the chief clock when he come outside without realizing that he was against bombarded into his room by his father who pushed him so violently that he injured some of his legs. So that's just my conclusion and I highly rec recognize this book to be Franz Kafka masterpiece. I don't think the castle or other books gonna live up to this, but this is one of my favorite books written by Franz Kafka. At least because I this is the first book I ever read of Franz Kafka. If you like this book, I'll find a PDF version and put it in the description below. More about the author, I'll be linked that in the description below too. The video to get a Wikipedia articles, I promise. But look out for me in the next video. I'll see you guys later. It's kind of late now, so bye.